Wow, look at this. What is the deal here? You guys showed no mercy, and we'll find out who made the best comedy right now. I got the bell out. It's time to play caption this. Ah, your internet friend Jersey Joe back with you once again for another a powerful edition of Caption This. Look, I put these funny pictures online, you guys write the comedy, I crown the winner, and between the last time we shot an episode of this show and now, I dropped the bell and kind of broke it, but it still seems to be working right. Well, we'll see what happens as the show goes on. Well, let's put up the first picture and crown the winners of this episode of Caption This. Alright, there it is, the guy with the banana on his head. Well, what's going on here? Keith says, it's a Steve Martin wannabe. Corey says, I guess it's an unappealing challenge. Oh, get it? Heather Ann McKee, damn it! Who put the banana peel on the floor? Now I have its friend stuck in my head. Dirty old Jedi Mr. Pizarro, when you're sick of this, sick of that. Banana guns, bandana puns, nostalgia tons, bananza reruns, sponsor none. Brain is full of zeros and ones. Guy spins until he slumps, banana through his brain, he grunts. Dude is nuts for bananas. He's a wicked one. Knock, knock, orange. I got winded reading that one. But Mike walks away winner with this comment, I have a banana splitting headache. Okay, there we go, kind of punny, right? You know what, I got a bunch of game show buzzers. Should we try that instead of the bell? Hold on, let's try that. Do you like this sound better? All right, let's try this for this episode. Well, Mike wins that round, let's go on to picture number two. Oh, look at her, she's got some time for us right now, right? Okay, that was my comedy, but yours is, Vamos Yankee says, she just found out that the Yankees dumped Sonny Gray. Ooh, I like that one. Chris says, yes, I finally made it to the office before nine o'clock. Too bad it was 9 p.m. instead of 9 a.m. But Larry walks away winner with this comment, it's five o'clock somewhere. Oh, there you go. Everybody loves when it's 5 o'clock, right? You know what that means, Jimmy Buffett fans. It also means we're moving on to picture number three. Ooh, what's her problem? Is she really that hungry she has to eat her laptop? Well, Jason says, I'm so hungry for digital content. All right, that's pretty witty. Darren the intern says, WTF, I thought this thing was full of chips. Also good. Missy Crawford TV, this low carb, high titanium meal plan is great. Keith says, when she read a review that called the new laptop display delicious, Sally had to try it for herself. Cody United, so vegan, then she's eating a digital salad. Swampy Nomo, Oreo finally went too far with their new laptop flavor cookies. Isn't that the truth? Oreo has, what, a zillion flavors now? Give it time, they probably will have a laptop flavored one, unless somebody else copyrighted it. By Casino Ad says, I could eat a quartz. I was hungry. I said I was sorry. Nice gif. Jason says, the all new Apple edible laptop. Oh, they're getting better. Vamos Yankees, anxiously waiting for Office to update again. Isn't that the truth? Oilers John, it only took 3,200 emails, but he finally responded. I feel like that sometimes at work. I Wanna Borrow Owl says, Karen was confused by the manufacturer's claim that her laptop contained 500 gigabytes. Oh, punny. Tom says, love that new flossing attachment. Hey, plugged into a USB port, I guess. Luke Funk says, the office rectal exam policy will be rethought after employee feedback. Nice. But after all that great comedy, Mike walks away a winner with this. This apple doesn't taste like a Macintosh. I don't know if I like this or the bell yet, but I do love that comedy. That was actually very, very witty and well thought out. All those actually could technically be a winner. But let's find out who else is going to win as we go on to our next picture. Oh, look at that. Kitties in a sink. Everybody's heart's melting, right? Well, Keith says, I think I finally get the whole bidet thing those humans always talk about. Nice. But Starman walks away winner with this comment. My pussy is clean. Sure, why not, right? There were only two options. It was a 50-50 shot. Anyhow, let's move on to our final picture. Well, continuing the animal theme, now I got a pig wearing a sombrero. Great, right? Well, what's going on here? Jason says, the ghost of future bacon. Luke thinks he thought King of the Pork Parade was a good thing until he saw where it ended. But Chris walks away winner with this comment, Babe 3, King of the Pigs. You don't want to know how he obtained his crown. I bet we don't, but that's how we play. Caption this. All right, another great round of comedy, right? So, game show buzzer, or do you like the good old fashioned 
fell better. Hmm, I have my favorite, but let me know on Twitter at JerseyJoe50 and we'll figure it out for a future episode. And speaking of that, that's where you can find these pictures. I put them up every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern there and on my JerseyJoe50 Instagram. All you gotta do is caption and we'll sit here and have a good laugh here each and every week because that's what we do here. Have fun on my web channel, so click that like or subscribe button down below. I got all this stuff going on for you here each and every week and I look forward to seeing you and I'm having a good time doing it. Jersey Joe, you and our friends saying thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, I hope. Yeah!